I think it's so funny. All day I've been watching the Google uh, meter to see how busy the gym was. And supposedly two o'clock is the best time to come because it's the least busy because everyone's at work. So I pull up right now, it's two o'clock. People are just filing in. I go back to the Google meter thing and it changed to as busy as it gets. So it just goes to show that I can think that I can plan all I want, but in the end there's there's already a plan for me and you know, I need to try not to think that I control that always. Anyway, uh, it's been eight months since my last video, which was a backpack review, but a couple before that was a video on, uh, uh, it was, uh, I was scared to post my first YouTube video. So I really don't have an excuse to be, have eight months in between videos. Um, I wanted to thank you to my subscribers, my three subscribers. Um, that's so cool. That's probably not many to some people, but to me, that's awesome. I have to figure out a way to find out who you are, um, or what your little tag is so I can, uh, write you and say, thank you. Um, oh, if you want to comment, um, just say I'm a subscriber or something like that. So I can text you back and say, thank you. Um, I've been hanging, I've been chilling. Um, I've been, uh, Focusing on uh, eating right, so that's been going really well. I'm down 10 pounds in about, uh, I want to say like two and a half months. Um, so yeah, the next step is uh, gym. So I've been eating right, but uh, I've been biking a little bit. Uh, but the next step is really to hit it in the gym and do some strength training, um, cardio, because I want to lose weight, but I also want to get toned. I don't want to have a bunch of skin, extra skin and all that. Um, I did my Sedona trip uh, and I realized I should have been uh, posting YouTube shorts. Like that would have been a great opportunity to post a short, but uh, I'm kind of figuring out how all that works. And I'm trying to get more organized with this channel because I'm realizing I want it to be kind of like lifestyle um, health and positivity, um, like kind of some uh, meal prep ideas. Uh, also things like, uh, essential oils, maybe crystals, which foods are good, which foods are bad, vegan, um, all kinds of, you know, uh, health, health and wellness and kind of spiritual kind of stuff too. So I'm trying to organize how I want that to be, what am I going to make videos about, what am I going to make shorts about, um, but also I made an Instagram, so what I'm going to do is I saw that I can post, like, a, like, a, write a message and post that, so I'm going to post a link to the Instagram, and I think I'm going to post much more on there because it's so easily accessible uh, for me to just pull out and film a quick video of what I'm doing, um, and then I think what I'll do is um, for shorts, post kind of like almost teasers kind of thing, like a little snippet about something. And then if, if you guys comment or like it or, or whatever, then I can go in depth in a real uh, video. Um, so yeah, gym anxiety. I got some notes so I don't just ramble. Uh, gym anxiety. I didn't realize how real that was, but I kind of just bit the bullet because I don't have another. I mean, I can walk, I can hike, I can bike, but those are all cardio. I have some weights at home, but it's so easy to like just not pick them up and not use the weights. I mean, it's so easy to just walk past it and not do it. But if if um, I'm if I have a gym to go to that's uh you know if you're there you're you're gonna do something you're gonna be lifting um but yeah like I said I was very anxious about I'm here now I just I just pulled up but like I said it's 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 hilarious to me and I just I just laughed because people are literally filing in like three at a time 
five, like, all, I hear doors all shutting, like, uh, uh, in sync. People are, it's, it's funny. I don't know what's about, everybody has my mindset about trying to go at two when it's slow. So that kind of backfired. But, uh, what I realized is if I wait to go to the gym till two o'clock, I'm literally worrying because I've been waking up at six, um, to get my, my morning, my morning right and kind of start my day right. If I wake up at six and I have the gym at two, because my work schedule allows that right now, I'm thinking about that all day. Like today, so I had a checklist uh, with like five things that I needed to get done. And I got, only got one of those things done because my head was so occupied with what am I going to do at the gym? Because my, my thing is I don't want to just do the treadmill the whole time because the treadmill is cool, but uh, I... Like I said, I could go on walks, you know. I want to do the lifting the weights and everything. So I'm thinking about what am I going to do? I don't really, uh, I kind of know what I'm doing, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So I don't want to look like an idiot. What if someone I know is there? Shit, just so many things. Um, also just the like social anxiety part about it not only am i i'm working out which is new and and weird but now i'm doing it in front of like potentially like 50 to 100 people it's just totally sketched me out so i'm thinking about that the whole time so what i'm going to do instead is probably go in the morning like wake up at six and just shower quick or something and um go get it done so that way i have my whole day because uh i did one thing on my checklist and the rest of the day i was on youtube searching like gym gym stuff um and what it's gonna look what it looks like in there and and i spent hours on that so i, I kind of wasted my day but it's all learning and uh i'm not mad at that because i'm here um well I'm halfway there. I got to walk inside <laughs> and start doing something, but you know, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much here. Um Yeah, so another thing that helped me is putting myself in someone else's mind, like looking back at me. So if I'm in there working out, chances are the other person working out uh, could be feeling the same way I'm feeling and they're they're really just there um, to get their workout done and leave so that's what I'm trying to do I feel like everybody I feel like no one gives like no one cares about that I'm there you know I'm just another person that is there to work out um, as, as long as I don't do something really ridiculous in there you know you just kind of blend in and do you do you do your thing and um and you're good oh also that um it's a positive thing because i'm walking into an environment with like-minded people everybody's there trying to better themselves um so let's see what do i have here so what i want to do is uh lose 10 more pounds and then uh post a before picture now that's like crazy for me to like say, but I think I want to post a before picture. Number one, because I on Instagram, the reels, I see before, before and after pictures. And that's so motivating and inspiring because some people are over 300 pounds and they, you know, over a period of time, they, they lose all the weight and now they're like a bodybuilder person or whatever. They're totally slimmed down. They're totally toned and built and they were 300 pounds i'm not 300 pounds i'm um i'm 260 and i think i want to get down to 215 or 210 200 we'll we'll see when i get there i don't have like a hard goal it's mainly what i look like i want to look healthy and feel healthy and act healthy i want to be able to run a few miles and that kind of thing so it's not just the number that i'm 
I don't need to hit just a specific number. Um, but yeah, I want to post a before picture because I think if, if I feel that way about being inspired, then other people definitely feel that way. And if I can be that for somebody, that would be really dope. Um, so, oh, the other thing is I wanted to uh, tell you guys about um, the reason behind the thanks for being dope. Uh, when I was a kid, I would, I would always see the thanks for not smoking thank you for not smoking signs and I always thought it would be cool it just sparked something in my brain it's like wouldn't it be cool if we told each other like thanks for being cool like thanks thanks for being you thanks for being cool you know like that's so thanks for being dope and I think if I can build this channel right um and build a community then it can be a community of positivity and, you know, reassuring each other that, you know, we're all, there's something awesome about every single one of us. And in this day and age, we're not complimenting each other. You kind of go, we go through our days like stagnant and not complimenting each other and not receiving compliments. So it's kind of shitty. So thanks for being dope is just like a, it's like a positive, you know, call to action so someone can be like, like, oh, shit, thanks. Like, I, I didn't know you felt that way about me. Maybe, maybe I wore a cool shirt or something and thanks for being dope. Or maybe you did something to help me. So thanks for being dope. Or maybe you're uh, doing something good for humanity. Thanks for being dope. So that's that's the reason behind that. And eventually I'd like to make shirts and stuff like that. I think um, having that on a shirt would be... You don't have to say it. Someone reads it and they, they feel that. So anywho. Um, yeah, I'll post that before picture once I lose another 10 pounds. And then once I figure out uh, how to not be so damn anxious in the gym... I'll probably, I like to um, film a little bit. Maybe like film a bunch of clips and do kind of like a voiceover kind of thing uh, for other people who haven't gone to gyms and they're looking for a video like that that I'll make to kind of show them that you're just going into a place that is full of people just like you that's trying to do the same thing you're doing. So, anywho, um, I want to post more shorts. I'm going to post more videos. So stick with me. Thank you to my subscribers. I appreciate you. Um, so that's all I got. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.